Just wait. Today is uh, Black Friday. Tomorrow is Small Business Saturday. Kate Rogers is going to tell us why it's a big deal for the economy. Hi, Kate. Hi, Joe. Good morning. Small Business Saturday is now in its ninth year, and some 80% of consumers who are aware of the holiday say they plan to shop small in some way on the day, whether it's in stores or online. So here's how some small business owners are getting ready. So some of these are our biggest sellers. For Mackenzie Farquay, there's nothing small about Small Business Saturday. Small Business Saturday is our busiest day of the year. Farquay has been participating in the American Express sponsored holiday since the start. She says nearly a decade in, there's barely room to stand in her Queens, New York retail shops on Small Business Saturday. In fact, that single day accounts for 8% of her overall holiday season sales. I think people in this neighborhood especially are trained to know like this is the day you come and support small businesses. So they're not only coming to do holiday shopping, but like they want to be here to support us. It's really about the show um, and it's like hyped. Dog products brand Crew La La makes bow tie collars, leashes, and more, giving back a portion of its profits to animal rescue organizations. The Etsy seller retails online and in person at its Charleston, South Carolina storefront. For the past five years, Small Business Saturday sales have doubled. Oh, good girl! Forty percent of our customers from Small Business Saturday were first-time customers. Of that forty percent, sixty-five percent actually turned into. Uh, returning customers. Having a day that uh, really shows the support to the community um, is, is really inspiring. It, it helps us, kind of fuels us for the rest of the year. Now, CNBC and SurveyMonkey did our own polling. It showed that overall this holiday season, shoppers say they'll spend less with 28% responding that way, while 14% said they'd spend more. And while we often talk about e-commerce dominating, 61% of respondents said they still prefer to do their shopping in person, which is good news for all of those small businesses.